last time out in Los Angeles. Two already here. He's defended uh, his 100 meters successfully and his long jump successfully, and he gets a tremendous reception. There's Robson De Silva, 20.04, six in the 100 here, fourth in the World Championship, and a tremendous uh, reputation and record behind him. And I know that Ron Rodden will be sitting on the edge of his chair as he watches his man introduced to the crowd in lane five. 28 now, Thames Valley Harrier. Listen to this. Great Britain. Huge British support, up to 3,000 British supporters here. Lane six, number 1085. The winner of the American trials. Joe Deloach, and he does look superb. Lane seven, number 339. Even taller European at six feet four, outside in Bruno Mari Rose. The 1987 European Indoor Champion, Silver in the 87 World Indoor Championships. So, Michael Roswes rubbing shoulders with some of his sporting heroes. Conditions perfect. When they ran in the semi-final, they had a breeze behind them in the home straight of 1.6 meters. Absolutely right. Absolutely right for a fast time. Remember the uh, Olympic record stands to Carl Lewis at 19.80. But Joe Douglas, his agent out here, has been saying how much he's been frustrated by all the phone calls and all the media calls. De Silva in four. Beautifully poised. Had a magnificent championships already. Linford Christie at 28. In the best form of his life. Settling in. Away they go. Lewis had a cracking start, was up, and Linford got a good one too. Linford trying to chase down on Joe Deloach. Deloach running well. Deloach in lane six comes off the bend the better. Linford Christie's got some running to do. He's getting after him, and Lewis is leading. Lewis and Deloach. Lewis, Loach, Deloach has come through. Deloach on the side. It's a photograph. It's Deloach. It's Deloach, Lewis, Da Silva, Christie. Christie out of the medals. Deloach, I think, has got it. And the time is a new Olympic record, as predicted. 19.76. And Deloach beats his mentor. The third fastest in the history of the event. The wind speed within the allowable of 1.7 meters per second. And Carl Lewis is run down by Joe Deloach. And De Silva snatches the bronze from the hands of Linford Christie. Deloach in lane six, off the bend the better. And then Lewis moves forward and takes an edge here. Christie at this moment is up on De Silva, but watch De Silva come through to snatch the bronze. Now watch Deloach because he's down on Lewis at this stage, but eases through and he's more relaxed than Lewis. Lewis looks over and in that moment he's lost it. And so too has Linford lost his bronze. A magnificent run, 19.76, and another turn up in the sprints. Another youngster finds his day of days from the University of Houston, 21-year-old Joe Deloach. It was still a magnificent run by Linford Christie. We await his time. It must surely have been a lifetime best for him. And look at this lean. Deloach from Lewis. Lewis has met his match at last. And they're traveling companions together. Let's have that flag and do the lap of honor. Five meters, 80. Yegorov, USSR, will be the first vaulter at 580. That run of his beats the fastest by Tommy Smith, set in the altitude of Mexico City. Only Manea and Lewis have ever run faster. But the name on the Olympic record book will now be Joe Deloach. Deloach running close to the line. Christie at this stage, up on De Silva, almost had a bronze medal in his hand. He has run superbly. I think you'll find that... Uh, He's run a lifetime best in this. He pushed it all the way. But the silver edge forward, 
just as Deloach heads forward and Deloach snatches the gold, Da Silva gets the bronze, Lewis splits them there and Linford Christie, already a silver medalist in the 100 metres, only just out of the medals again. Twenty point zero nine, I'm told for Linford Christie. Twenty point zero nine, and that is a new United Kingdom record. So Christie's done his running yet again. Takes John Regis uh, out of the record books. Twenty point one eight. Incidentally, we're waiting for the official time for the winner there, Joe Deloach, and it may well be because they've been rounded down slightly that he's even faster than that. Incidentally, Ross Voice. Ross West uh, of Birchfield, seventh in that Olympic final, 20.51. Again, he's never run faster. And Deloach's time in winning it, 19.75, which equals the second fastest time in history. And there, who's talking to the Italian uh, television viewers in front of us, has the world record and fastest time in history. But uh, Deloach joins Lewis with the second fastest time in history at 19.75. Lewis clocked at 19.79. So the dream of four goals has now evaporated.